Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 30. All right. So the find method retrieves the first element with an array that fulfills the conditions specified in the provided callback function. If no element satisfies the condition, the method returns undefined, all right? Uh, in the example below, the find method is used to find the first number greater than 25. So we've got const numbers, and this is an array with uh, 10 through 50, all by 10s like that. And then we've got uh, find the first number greater than tw 25 down here. We'll have const found number equals numbers.find. So this array dot find. And as the callback function, we have number as the uh, parameter. And then the number needs to be greater than 25. So it'll go to 10. It's not greater than 25. 20, not greater than 25. 30, it is greater than 25. So when we do console.log found number, it's going to output 30 because that's the first one we find, right? So uh, we don't really need to go to the MDM because it pretty much says the exact same thing with a bunch of extra stuff that has nothing to do with this, right? Uh, so we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to use const to create a variable named song. And we're going to assign it the result of the find method, pardon me, the find method call on the user data optional chaining songs array, right? And then we're going to use song as the parameter of the find callback function and check if song.id is strictly equal to id. And I'm pretty sure we're doing that because uh, we're doing this double up just to prove that this song right here and this song right here are not related, right? And this is going to iterate through the user data optional chaining songs array, searching for a song that corresponds to the ID passed into the play song function. All right. So let's just uh, make it like this was we'll a const song equals and then we're going to have uh, user data, optional chaining, songs. And then we're going to say dot find. And what we're going to find is song. Remember, this is an unrelated song to the variable name. This, uh, this is going to be the parameter song. And we're going to say song dot ID. And this song is the parameter, is the uh, looking for the argument of the parameter, this of this parameter, not this thing right here. I'm pretty sure they're just trying to confuse us uh, just to show us that they're not related, all right? Uh, and so now once we do that, we're going to say song.id needs to be strictly equal to uh, song that, to the ID passing the play song function. Song.id, what? Hold on. Check if song.id is strictly to equal to ID. Okay, and so we'll just say triple equals ID like this, all right? And so let's come to the end of this thing drop off a semicolon, check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 31, and we'll see you next time.